And now on Wake Up Wales, the curry house that's bringing in people from all over Blyna Gwent. I'm a kebab man myself. I usually go to sales. But there's something about these curries that uh, I can't resist. So, uh, sorry, Sal. We come here every Friday. We love it, don't we, babe? Shut up, Mum. Don't talk to me. Even the Welsh Hollywood superstar Michael Sheen has been seen stopping by. French people eat snails. And now, back to Phil in the studio. Tell me, how did it feel to run the number one curry house in Abervale? Phil, bro, I'm just a humble chef at the service of this wonderful community. But on a serious note, it's always good to know that you're the best. So, with that, the verdict is in. This curry house is second to none. It's one you've goshed to try. If you can barge your way in, uh, Phil, uh, we said one pun. We've used all three. We're still live, you asshole. All right, Baz, we'll see you later. And stop smoking inside. Oi, oi, big bass. How's it going, G? Absolute bastard. Yeah, th thing is, Baz, I had things to do today. I'm not trying to give you any aggro, like. A team meeting is vital to your role, Nick. You need the money, don't you? Well, yeah, but... Just get him! Oh, again, no. You're not going to pay me, are you? Uh, Dad? Why is Basil always shouting at you? Oh, because he's a bully. Oh. Look, I know I always tell you to stand up for yourself, but when you're an adult, getting bullied is it's just something you got to deal with if you want to earn money. You, you've never told me to stand up for myself. Oh, well, I know I thought it to you, but I'm telling you now, always stand up for yourself, unless it's for your job. Anyway, here's, uh, here's some money for your dinner. That'll have to do, that's all I got. Uh -huh. Thanks, Dad. I'll pick you up after. Oh, we your Mars bar. Oh, uh, uh, hey, hey Connor. <laughs> He's got money on him. How much money you got, boy? Uh, I, I've got this two pound my, my dad gave me for dinner. Oh, lend us a toast then. But toast is only 50p. Aye, and I want four toasts, boy. Uh, but it's for my lunch. What, you saying he can't pay you back, is it? He's cheeking you, Con. That's cheek, Alice. What, you accusing me of being scabby, boy? Uh, uh, yeah, Con. Do you mean I He's cheeking you, Ed. He's cheeking you! No, no, no. Uh, I I'm sorry, Connor. You can lend my money. Oh, you're a legend, but cheers for that. Uh, I knew you didn't think I was a scab. Come on, big head boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have taken that money off him as well if you were saying I was a scab. <laughs> you thought you were with Boss here, Con. That was awesome, that was. <laughs> I was waiting there for ages, slithered like a lemon. Oh, babe, it's going to be all right. I asked him what happened, and he said, he had second thoughts because of my head. Spoil, there's nothing wrong with your head. It's a normal shape. <laughs> really? Oh, just forget him, babe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of boys, there's yours there, Mona. Shut up. I don't fancy Connor. Oh, my God, like, we didn't even say Connor. That means you fancy him. Shut up. I don't fancy anyone. Love. Love. So what are we doing here, then, Baz? I've got to be at the job centre in a bit. Yeah, and I'm meant to be training. These guns aren't going to load themselves. Shut up! That bastard of the road has taken all of my business, and I need to take it back. Those are my customers. It's only a bit of friendly competition, Dad. I think Ernish is quite cool. And he's got a Lambo. Do you? You think it's friendly and cool to set up shop opposite a thriving business that provides sustenance to the people of this town, and in doing so, taking all their business for yourself, therefore stealing another man's livelihood and fucking him to death? But I thought... Didn't the Kelsh Mahal open first? No, I was here first. My father brought us here in the 70s. Dad, 
Daddy, are we nearly there yet? I think I can see the Big Ben clock. Yes, boy. It is nearly time to set down and start our lives anew. You came here in a hot air balloon? Yes. Papa was a keen aeronaut. Here we are, my son. London City, the capital of the Empire. I want to see Westminster Abbey. <laughs> Is that London? It's bloody Wales, you mad head. Great boy, I'm a man sheep hybrid, I am. That's right. We definitely do that around you. Bah. No! My father was not very good at reading maps. Later, my father bought a disused storage unit to start this fine dining venture. The people here will not know what hit them. And one day, it will all be yours. So don't ever say that bastard was here first. All right, Buzz. I'm sorry. What I need from you boys is ideas. What about Dowell's Motors? He has someone standing on the roundabout with one of them sandwich boards to advertise his business. We are not resorting to that. I will not debase myself and this business. Well, this is just a suggestion, because I'm not saying the food's bad, but what if we change the menu up a bit? Are you saying my food is subpar, Nicholas? Nicky boy, pretty skin baby, Nick. No, no, not at all, Baz. What else have you got? No one is leaving this room until we think of something. Oh, so good. Oh, God. Uh, Where's your lunch, John? Uh, um, I saw Connor on the way in earlier, and he, uh, he made me lend him my lunch money. Why don't you ask for it back then? Uh, he'll, um, he'll probably give it back to me when he's ready. But you're hungry now. You're no corner in all that. He ain't as hard as people make out. Yeah, my cousin in the year below me knocked him out once. He don't scare me at all since I heard that. But, uh, don't everyone say he's like the hardest boy in school? No, he's all mouth but. Yeah, he's down by the gym playing pigeon toss with the elevens at the moment. Why don't you just go down and ask for it back? Uh... Uh, I don't know. Oh, trust me. Just go down there and say this to him. Oh, give me a pen, Big Bird. Go down and read that to him, word for word. He'll start crying and then just go up and ask for your money back. Piece of piss. Um, I don't know. Fine, young but It's either that or we'll have your money every morning. Every morning? Your choice. Uh, okay. Oh, Big Bird, I bet you'll quit I can eat this burger in one bite. Nom, nom. Mm. I ain't giving you a quid. Oh, I'm not looking forward to English. Me too. I haven't done the homework either. Oh, just say you've got anxiety, man. That's what I'm going to do. Again? You shouldn't lie about having anxiety. The teachers will start monitoring you for mental health. Speaking of mental health, look who's back. The ex-girlfriend of the love of your life there, Moan, being escorted by your own mother. She's not being escorted. What did she do? She went apeshit and got sent away for it. She's been off because her mother's been ill. They're just saying that for the cover-up. Why? What happened? Well, apparently this is what actually happened, right? It all started at Wheeler's house party after Connor and her were necking all night. Oh, my God. I love that. Yeah, that's right, I. <sighs> Literally, an hour later, she tried putting them as in a relationship on Facebook. <sighs> then, on Monday, she told everyone in school that she got pregnant after Connor strummed her off. I'm gonna be a mom! Then, she saw Connor talking to another girl, and she went absolutely Ballistic. I hate it! Turned out the girl was Connor's cousin. She lost a hand. There's no way that happened. Yes, it did. 
Tash had to go to Danabrin for testing, and that's why she's been off. I used to sit next to in geography, and she seemed nice then. That was year 10, Spold. She's changed since then. I still don't believe you. Thing is, Moan, you've got to ask yourself, is Connor worth only having one hand for? And if so, which one? <clears throat> ah, that is a week's worth of toast, that is, boys. Get in. <laughs> I can have some toast as well, can I, Con? <laughs> I'm his best friend, and I Con. Uh, 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 hey. Oh, what's this Mars bar one now? Uh, hey, uh, I, I, I want my money back. <laughs> That's some cheap with the air, Con. He's got some cheap, can he? <laughs> What's that, a note from your mum? <laughs> Boys, yeah, he's got a note oh, from his yeah, mum. He's going to be twisting out. <laughs> Go down and read that to him, word for word, piece of piss. Uh, um, uh, uh, let me just, uh, um... Always stand up for yourself, unless it's for your job. <sighs> uh, dear, uh, Connor, I just want to say that my family doesn't make a lot of money. My... My dad hasn't long got out of prison, and my mom works two days a week in fiddle. So I, I know two pound may not seem like a lot of money to you, but, but it is to me and, and my family. So I would be really grateful if you could please uh, give it back to me. That's the cheekiest thing I've ever witnessed. Oh, that's cheeky. No, boys, it took a lot for him to pluck up the courage to read that letter. Maybe it was a bit tight to me to take his money this morning. Him reading that, it's really made me take an inward look at myself. I feel proper shamed. Oh, Con, I was about to say the same thing. Oh, uh, oh and uh, uh, there's just a bit more. P.S. Uh, Connor, you were born out of your mother's uh, arsehole as her... Um... That's right, everyone. Make sure you're all having a good, thorough listen to everyone's private affairs. Sir, you have to hear this. This 13-year-old boy from Ebu Vale is currently reading a really horrible letter to one of his fellow school pupils. And, uh, after that, you... Put what in his mother's wear? It wouldn't fit. How many? <sighs> Why on earth would a waffle be that colour? Oh, this has to be the most harrowing thing I've ever heard. I'm ceasing operations. Hugh, destroy the ship and all who lie within. A self-destruct sequence initiated. Um, uh, so, in conclusion, that is the disgusting, untelevisable reason why your entire family, uh, in particular your mother, smell. But that was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. You just made me change my entire approach to life and instantly snap back to my former self. Uh, uh. What the? What happened to you? Nothing. Well, something must have happened. Did someone do that to you? Uh, no. What, you were playing, were you? Uh, yeah. OK. Well, we better get you some new clothes or your mother will go spare. <sighs> you hungry? We can swing by Ebu Burger before I drop you off if you want. Uh, thanks, Dad. Put some bloody elbow grease into it, boy. I am, Dad. Oh, boss, keep that boy of yours on your side. Don't come advertising on our patch, right? <laughs>